For hours, we couldn't have saved him. I will have that beast hide. Catch it! I will have it hide. You know, you're prettier when you're upset. My friend lies dead, you ass. Show some respect. I was giving you a compliment. My mistake. Damn it all! I should have gone with him. I have some blame in his death. I cannot speak the rights. Jason, will you do it? I could do it for you, but I didn't know him. How could I commend his virtues to the gods? I'll tell you what you need to know. Very well. Then let the gods be witness to these last rites. Hear me, stout-hearted Ares. Here is Phalion, fallen scout of the Nasiros. Atalanta, speak of the life and virtues of the fallen so that the gods may hear. Phalion was a brave scout. When others were unwilling to venture into the jungle, he would always volunteer. He was a great singer of songs. His voice would cheer the village, even in our darkest times. He was a loving son. He helped Gelios in his work as Lorgard, and sought medicine for his father, at great risk to himself. And Phalion had a mind for strategy. He helped Nessus form our plan to turn back the satyrs on the bloody plains. A worthy centaur, truly. I will speak of his virtues. Phalion was a courageous scout, who volunteered for duty when others would not. He risked his own life to serve his tribe. May we all show such valor in the line of duty. Phalion of the Nasiros, find now your eternal place. Find now the fate you deserve. You are released from this mortal tether. May unyielding Hades have mercy on your spirit. Thank you, Jason. I... Thank you. When we get back to the village, we must tell Gelios of his son's fate. As for now, the first of the sacred Herms lies just over there.
Nessus was the last to enter the jungle and return. He said the this satyrs made I a den in the cave of Seder. During the day, I was probably likely to be outside. outside. I was cleaning a manticore when it emerged from the jungle just in front of me. I am the Windrunner, the spirit guide. This land I call my own. Listen for me in the rustling leaves. Hear me in the ocean breeze. The herb has been relit. I've never understood the allure of Hermes. Bunch of gibberish. The second Herm is in a cave to the east. Let's go. Up there, across the gulf. That's where we want to go. There's no getting across this without a bridge. Jason, what's your wager I can hit Hermes' shrine from here? Save your spear, Achilles. You'll likely need it. Come, let's relight the second Herm and then return. One of the sacred herms is inside the cave. There are stories all around you. Even in dark, secluded places. Share your stories. Mark the places where they were born. No greater gift can you give to one another. The Herm has been leaving. Time to get out of this bug ridden jungle. To the ravine. The way across should be ready.
There's no one here. And no sign of Hypnage's lair either. Shchita. Not here, then where? Let's look about. Keep our eyes open. Jason, look! That fruit! Not any fruit I've seen before. Great! We came all this way for an odd-looking apple. Think it's got the blood of Hermes inside? Perhaps he copulated with a tree. This is a caduceus tree. See the roots? They resemble the entwined snakes of Hermes' staff. I've never seen it bear fruit before. The centaurs say it blooms when Hermes has been near. It is also said that whomever eats of the fruit can see through the eyes of Hermes himself. A sound idea. Eat some strange fruit no one's ever seen before. I can't imagine. It's clear Hermes has led us to this fruit. I trust this is what he wants me to do. Atlanta. Achilles. Don't worry about them. They're fine. You'll catch up to them in a moment. Hermes? The fruit. I feel... Sorry about the taste. Was aiming for a sort of pomegranate. Came out more like the sole of a sandal. Oh well. I saw alchemy. You saw lost spirits, your wife among them. Unlike the others, she is under my protection. For now. How long can you protect her spirit, Hermes? I must know. She'll be lost before you see her again. And so you face a hard choice. Return now and give her last rites to save her from that fate. Or find the fleece and bring her back entirely. That choice has already been made. Then know this. As a lost spirit, she will wander for eternity, 
slowly losing all memory of who she was in this world. Only you, who are most intimate with her, can perform the last rites to put her spirit to rest. Should you die during your quest to find the Golden Fleece, then Alcime would be lost forever. I know what you seek here, but the time is not yet right for the one who carries my blood to be revealed. What would you have me do? The Nasiros are a good people. You must end their suffering. By slaying Hepnage? There's another evil on Saria far greater than that. One you must uncover and destroy. How? The fruit has given you new eyes, ones that can peer into the spirit world itself. Go and find the lost spirits that roam this island and give to them last rites. Talk to them. The dead hold the key, Jason. In their dwindling minds, you'll find the answers that you seek. Easy there, Jason. I have a feeling that fruit's coming right back up. I spoke with Hermes. We have more work to do. So what now? Light more candles? We must speak with the spirits of the dead. The fruit I ate allows me to see them. There's something going on here. Something more than just hypnosis. What do you mean? A greater evil. Hermes says the dead will tell us more. You're going to speak to ghosts? <laughs> Why does this not surprise me? 